Welcome back there to Fast and Light, and it's me, Lutin. It's been a while since I've been back on here. I know some people will be pleased about that. If you've never seen this game, you should check it out. It's a really, really good game. This has been played on my PC, so it's great. It means that I can have much easier recording now because of the way I've got it set up uh, before any of these kind of, um, I don't know what would be the word, sort of desktop games. More tricky for me to record, but now, easy peasy. So let's get started, eh? It's been a little while since we've done this, so I'm going to go on easy. Also, it tends to be a little bit more enjoyable playthrough. Kestrel. I'm going to go with the Lumini. Not in caps. Lumini. It's just off the very top of my head. Uh, what do we click to... There we go. Right, now I'm not sure I have any unlocks whatsoever. Um... Yeah, because we haven't even done anything. On my other playthrough, I'd actually managed to achieve something. But with this one, nothing. So it's going to be a case of literally just getting straight in the game. Off we go. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet will catch you up. Weapon order, rearrange your weapon order, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know all this. Off we go. Right, we're going to have to get some power to our weapons first of all, so we're doing that. Weapons powering up. And uh, we want to move some of our little men here into these rooms to help these sort of things. Do I want to go for the FTL drive? I don't know. It can be helpful, but I generally go with the uh, shields first of all, because that is always a beneficial thing. Um, I think basically it says um, Manning reduces the charge time. And with this, Manning increases your shield recharge speed. So defensive and offensive going for those as our sort of primary, primary roles. I'm just going to turn the volume down a little. Because the volume is a little bit loud. There we go, that should be better I hope. Right, off we go, let's jump into it. Nebulas, I hate those places. And you got one place to visit first of all. You detect a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. Yeah. Let's get to that sensor station. Right, first of all, pausing it up. That pause allows us to basically uh, sort of decide what it is we're going to do. And first of all, this, this guy doesn't look too hardcore, so we're just going to laser burst his weapon systems. I don't want to waste too many missiles at this stage in time, and hopefully, he's only got one shield. He's got an ion system though, which is bad news for us. But we've managed to take down his weapons, so that's good news. Go for his shield next of all. Taking that down too, this guy's taking a beating from us. Let's hit that pilot. Oh yeah, also I should say, you can obviously take power away and add it into other things like that. You access the recent scans from the underguided station. Your map has been updated with details of the surrounding area. That's also very useful, of course. What's my shortcuts over here? So, uh, Z and X for closing and open doors. Okay, fine. So if I open all doors, does that... Okay, it opens all internal doors. That's good to know. Don't want to be creating a vacuum for myself. Right, um, what was the thing I was thinking of? Oh yes. Now, doors are an underrated item to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade to blast doors straight away because I always find it's a good thing to do early on. You wouldn't imagine so. All right, And also shielding is extremely powerful as well. Um, I'm going to let myself gather some more materials first of all though. Let's carry on. You wouldn't think that the doors were important, but later on they can be a massive nuisance. The sooner you get those doors set up, I find it often helps a little bit. Intervene, defend the outpost, yes please. Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage yours. Ooh, he's got some gear. Right, we're going to uh, batter his weapon systems first of all, because he looks like he means business. I just noticed we've got a very female crew this time around. Nothing. You know, nothing wrong with that, it's just unusual. Holy crap, our O2 systems are down. That is bad news. Actually, let's hit their shielding. 
Again, I don't want to waste any missiles. I managed to already take down their weapon systems. So here we go, dropping that shield, and down you go, son. Fuel missile scrap and an anti-personnel drone. That's also great. Got some drone parts right there. I don't think we actually have a. Um... Oh, it's a it's an internal drone. Okay, fine. We don't actually have like a drone system though. I don't believe so. Can't use him right now. But never mind. Uh, Lauren, you can go back to your weapon systems. Right. Let's continue on with the mission. Don't want to upgrade yet. I think we can handle a few more things. Let's move up this way and then across and down. Although, no, let's go this way, actually. Because I'm not always too happy going too far away. It usually brings me down. This guy looks me means business, too. It first appears you've arrived in this system. Ship appears. Ha ha. I used the dread pirate to go. Prepare to die. I don't want to die, my friend. This guy looks like he has some horrific weapons as well. Come on, girls, hit him. Hit him hard. Come on, boost faster. Oh, balls. No, it's all good. Crapping out. Alright, let's just go for a laser volley first of all. Come on. I set weapon systems down. Good job. Finish him off, hit that shielding again. No mercy. Oh, that's it, they're in the pain now. You're not such a big man after all, are you, Tuco? Eh? The weapon's back up, but it's too late. Your strange slug ship is down. I know it said rock scout, but it looked like that kind of ship. Anyway, missiles and scrap, good news. Now we can look to start upgrading. I'm gonna drop some extra power in for the shielding and we obviously need a bit more power yet but um, it's a good beginning on the shielding I need another bar yet but um, anyway we'll no doubt get that soon let's get up here to this next ship hitting that sensor array was a big help you recognize the ship as well as slave trader he hails you and offers you laborers on the cheap I'm gonna attack that slaver scum now here we go this is what we we're talking about with the um, intruders as it were now they've already sent people across there's no point actually attacking their teleport system but I am gonna attack the default attack places come on get him get him get him go on girls take him down put a hurting on him put a hurting on him come on put him down put him down there we go guys All right get in there I'm gonna put some med bay on their weapon systems are down. I'm gonna hit that engine. We surrender. Take one of our slaves to tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. I'm gonna accept that offer because we'll we'll cut their you know their supposed slave. We'll cut him a deal. All right, we're not gonna be a slave with him. All right, he can go and man the what can he man? He can man the weapon systems. Joel. <laughs> Why would a giant mantis be called Joel? <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave him actually called Joel because I find that kind of funny. Um, Alright, good job. Hey, we didn't get any scrap for that, seriously? Wouldn't they, like, give us some scrap as well? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Right, let's continue on our way. We'll go to the store, but there's no point. We don't have anything. Let's just see what's in this location right here. Your scans reveal an aura finery in several factories, all standing still and empty. Okay, I thought there was going to be something actually interesting. Let's get on this distress beacon right here. Maybe this will yield some scrap and materials for us. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station being overrun. Oh, not the giant alien spiders. Okay, I'm going to roll the dice here, but I have a super bad feeling. Uh, a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everyone makes it back. Oh, Joel! No! Joel! Oh! Oh. He was short-lived. He was short-lived. He, uh... What a, he's had a hard life, Joel, you know? He just 
you can't let's just get on to the next sector seriously he just couldn't hack it could he, he just couldn't uh, life did not favor Joel a ship refueling station is stationed its beacon we can purchase fuel one fuel for two scrap yeah you know I'm, I'm gonna buy fuel right anyway okay let's exit to the next sector I'm gonna go to the civilian sector or am I gonna go to the NG sector this is actually a pretty nice uh, pretty nice sector map we don't have that many hostile sections um, we're gonna go to NG's because if you can get an NG on board they're quite useful NG space the fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robot life forms but they're usually willing to help oh, lovely um, yeah, we've got a three run right here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go to this nearby section. You see a small rebel carry in the distance. You lay low and try to blend in with the other traffic. However, it's surprising to see a rebel military ship alone in NG space. Okay. Total waste of my fuel, that one, wasn't it? NG vessel hails you. Identify Federation. Outline a probability. Implies revival. Implies hope. Assistance suggested. They offer some supplies. Oh, thanks very much, guys. Good job. And this means I can get my uh, power upgrade for my next shielding. I can take this out. Over there. Now we got double shields. Excellent news. Let's get on that distress beacon right there. Maybe we can. Uh, you arrive at just speaking near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, let's destroy and loot them. They're just pirates. You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull, causing the ship to depressurize and break apart. You move in to loot the remains. Uh, we're mean. We've got a mean crew going on here. Unless we're rapidly losing uh, ground to the forces coming up behind me. After a short time, you see a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a new by system. This region is quite dangerous. Region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not well armed. NG Scout. Yeah, why not? Great. Take this fuel as down payment. We'll be one step behind. You follow your jump signatures. Don't want to take any risks. Okay, rock and roll. Let's go do that quest. Power up. You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. Yeah, let's help them out. <gasps> you receive another message from the ship. A mantis at the comm. Foolish meat sacks he yells. Senses indicate the ship is moving into attack. A blah, blah, blah. Oh, balls in hell. Let's try and uh, evacuate those guys. We're going to have to um, fall back to the medic station because we can't be dealing with no mantises. Right, um, also we're going to have to deal with that drone straight up. Okay, uh, hopefully this will handle it. Okay, yeah, already we're doing, they're trying to take down our O2 system as you see, which is bad news for us. Did I say Joel? Oh, John. This is bad news for us, by the way, but um, there's very little I can do about it. Our O2 systems are down as well, so... I'm going to have to just battle on and hope to hell that I can do something about it. We're losing oxygen really fast. Oh crap, we're losing system power. This is really bad. We've got to get that. We've got to get the A2 back on control. Otherwise we're going to really... These guys are going to die if I'm not careful anyway. We have no system power back for the weapons. A2 is back in control. Oh crap, I don't want Mr. Pilot in the mix. Right, come on, come on, come on. Come on guys, repair it, repair it. Ok, 
car. This is going to be a dangerous situation, really. I don't know why I didn't notice that before, but it's too late. Right, kill him, guys. Kill him. Get back in here, guys. Get back in it. Crap, my shields are down. Right, here we go. Here we go. We have a chance to take him down. We know our shields are down. Come on, we're so close. Uh, repair the shields, guys. Repair the shields. That's going to be it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it, there is enough system power. Come on. Come on. Get to the weapons. Last missile. Oh, crap in hell. Oh, we're barely surviving this. We're barely surviving. Come on, take him down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, that was so close. Fuel missiles and scrap. We're so badly hurt. Oh, and we've got fire somewhere. Where the hell is the fire? Oh, crap. Right, that was a real tough uh, battle there. Not helped by my massive ineptness, as always. But um, nevertheless, we sort of managed to vaguely survive. Not good, uh, not good at all. Right, Lauren, you can drive for a little bit. Beth can go for the shields. And Lissandra can stay on the uh, weapons, no, shields. Stay on the weapon systems. <sighs> Not exactly a picture perfect round there, but we did survive. So, we're going to have to go to the store first. I'm concerned about how much time we have to escape this uh, zone. But let's see how we do. Fix all 44. That is lucky. Um, not much else we can do. We do need fuel though, so... I'm going to take all their fuel. We also need missiles. I'm going to take two missiles. Right, let's jump it up. Got to get to our quest beacon, pick up our rewards. Before we move on to the next section. Ah, you arrive in a system and immediately discover a pirate ship. Strangely, scans indicate there are no life forms. You salvage anything useful, but find no clue. Yeah, good job. That's exactly what we needed. Get another quest beacon here, so we can clear this out now. Hopefully we won't be... Your ship you were escorting thanks you. I don't think we could have made it. What? Let my friends patch up your hull. Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, I wish they'd told us this before. Christ. Can't even buy anything now. Oh, well. That's just how it goes. We seriously got to escape there, though, because otherwise we're going to be in real trouble. <coughs> Jump to the next sector. NG Homeworlds. You've arrived in NG space. Oh, uh, yeah, robots, robots, okay. Straight to that distress beacon, going to help out friends. Find a ship floating around Debbie. Uh, I can't give you any fuel. Let's just get straight into the middle of this galaxy right here. See what is happening. You arrive a small fleet of civilian NG ships. A simple decryption translate their comm frequency tells you they are having a frantic discussion about something obviously troubling. Let's see if we can help. Slightly shocked at your question, their leader responds. Declined offer with apologetic gratitude. Topic of discussion, private. Fair enough. It's not really a uh, particularly worthwhile encounter there, was it? Still, we're burning through these levels. 
The complex arrangement of ship hulls and FTL drive capacitors is floating abandoned suggests the NG were here not too long ago, but no longer. We're not having a particularly eventful section through here, are we? Just burning my fuel up. Federation sympathizers contact you as you arrive. We know your mission should be secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Take this schematic. Yes, yeah, so we've got an anti-personnel drone and scrap. Interesting. Got plenty of drones, but no drone control. Um, let's continue to push on down this way. Something tells me we're going to need some fuel when we get to the next one. Uh, he's got a teleporter. Attempt to remain concealed. Don't want to be dealing with any of these mantis. Before you have a chance to slink away, the mantis ship notices you and powers their weapons. Balls! I don't want to have to fight a mantis. Oh, crap in hell. Seriously. This is going to be problematic again, guys. This is going to be seriously problematic. Wait for it. Here we go. It's only one mantis. That's good news. Somebody, no. I'm going to take this guy down, seriously. We're not having any of this nonsense this time. He's not destroying our bloody systems. Come on, guys, finish him. Come on, finish him off. Oh, crap. He teleported back out. Come on, dude. Oh, finish him. Finish him. That was a much more successful... I've got some drone parts, missiles, and all the rest of it. That was a much more successful round there than previously. We were just lucky we didn't get attacked by multiple uh, drones there, really, was the big deal. Right, Beth, you can pilot for a little bit. Although different people have sort of different skills and so on, so... Uh, see, repair speed for Lissandra is very good. Weapon speed for Lauren is good. Beth, good at combat. Well, actually, Beth, yeah, you probably can pilot. Lauren, what is it? Weapons and Lissandra's good at repairing and combat. Okay. So, Lauren, okay. Weapon systems. Alright, let's jump it up. I'm going to pick up some fuel if I can. I don't know when the next store will be. We've had this problem before. Message your scrap. Ah, oh, our weapons for you. Yeah, it's a transport place. Drone control is 80. I think that's totally worth it. So, I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to buy a little bit of fuel. Actually, bolster it by a few bits of fuel. Oh, and a missile. Awesome. Right, let's rock and roll. Unfortunately, Despite the fact that we, we've got a system, we've got multiple drones right here, okay? But um, we haven't got any of this sort of drones that I would like. Um, but. Yeah, so we've got a system, we just don't have the power for it yet, but we can do uh, later on. The good thing about drones is they don't require oxygen, so if our O2 unit gets taken down, but hopefully we'll be able to actually get some anti ship drones as we go forward, provided I actually pick up any more scrap. Let's jump on. Right, we're going to exit right now. I just don't want to get caught up by the fleet because I've had that so many times and it causes big problems. We arrived at the long range beacon when the FTL drive is charged. Um, you find a rebel automated scout. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Right, let's try to download it. Damn it! <sighs> Reactivated its AI. Bollocks. Let's rock and roll. We should be able to handle this. It looks like he's got some bad stuff, but we do have our double shielding. Repairing, repairing, come on guys. Come on, repair faster. Come on. I don't really want to burn through my missiles because I only have a couple and it's going to be possibly quite critical that I remain, you know, I keep my missiles. Okay, good, good, good. Taking down their missiles. Or weapon systems, anyway. Target that shielding. Oh, 
Right there, burst laser is keeping those things locked down. Just take out their weapons and ships down. Good job. Let's see if we get more than 16 scrap here. We get 40 scrap, a missile and fuel. We're rocking the curse bar. Right, let's get some more power bars. And let's get a new engine upgrade too. Okay. Right, good job. Let's rock and roll. On to the next, uh, yeah, okay, next sector. Slug Nebula or Zoltan controlled sector. Either way, it's not ideal. Let's go for the Zoltans. Zoltan space. From what you've heard, they anticipate the coming war made preparations to hold borders. Okay. Let's rock on this way. You jump just in time to witness a Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In their final moments, they implore you not to get involved, but it's too late. Their attacker is upon you. Are they, damn it. Uh, this guy doesn't look too powerful. I'm gonna hit him with that. And... Let's hold on and see how it goes. He's only got one shield, and if their weapons aren't too powerful, it depends. He's got like what looks like a three burst laser there. Yeah, that could be bad news for us. We're gonna need some repairing going on. If I can just see, keep focused on their weapons, like that, then basically each time their shield comes up, I can kind of keep it suppressed, which is, you know, essentially good news for me. These ships, you see, like this, so he just can't get his weapons back up again, and I can just literally leave it to wear it down and take it out. I kind of wish I had an ion cannon because having an ion cannon is actually very, very good news for this kind of sort of tactic for taking things down. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FDL. Not in my watch, it ain't. Bye bye, bun. You win. Here's some equipment from our stores. We never accept surrender. No surrender. Come on, laser, finish him. There you go, down you are, son. The ship explodes. Oh, look, we got a lot better material. A substantial collection of useful scrap material. Indeed, it is. Let's see if we can upgrade our ship some more. Hmm. Need some more system power for a start. That'll do for now. And now we've got enough system power to actually be able to use my system repair drone, so that's good news. Um, right, let's jump. Let's go this way. Zoltan ship patrolling hails you. This area is off limits. They power their weapons. They power their weapons. I could get out of here. Oh man, this is going to be a hardcore fight. Whew. Um, right, I'm going to totally activate a system repair drone. Okay, I was hoping I could actually bring out a different drone right now, but never mind. Um, I'm going to put that back in because it does actually help. Uh, it creates our, our dodge ability with more power. Right. They don't have a teleport, which is good. They do have a drone system. I ain't got many missiles, though. I'm going to try and take out that drone system first of all. I'm not going to have that on auto fire. Then I'm going to. Okay, we can only have auto fire on or off. That's kind of annoying. Right. This could go bad because look at this ship. It's stacked. It's got two shields. It's got some other kind of shielding there as well. I'm not quite sure. I can never sure what that bar is because I've never got it. I don't know what. It's some kind of shielding. It looks like I've got a laser system. Let's see what happens. Come on guys, come on. What the hell is that? That's bad news for me. Looks like we've worn down nearly their initial shield bar thing though, so that's good. Right, last chance missile. Missed, damn. See, this could be a problem if I can't even get through with 
my burst laser. I'm not going to be able to really do any realistic damage to them. I had this problem before in the past where I couldn't actually put any power into the ship. There we go, one hit. This could be one of those... Uh, I'm just going to keep hitting their drones and their weapons, alternate between the two. This could be one of those... Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, sorry, this could be one of these uh, battles that goes on for quite a long time, but I do end up winning. <laughs> I had one of these battles before in another previous uh, Fast and Light episode where we encountered this ship and it was like this. It had really good shielding, but it didn't have su massively superior weapons, and it just ended up being this massive grind like this. And it would like take me forever to actually get through their shielding. But he wasn't really doing the tunnel damage to me. I'm going to try and hit their shields because if I can, if I can weaken their shields a little bit, it would actually help me out loads. All right, sit back and uh, make a cup of tea while I wait for these guys to get it on. Yes, let's take them one of these shields down. Let's go for those weapon systems. And weapons, good job. That was exactly the opportunity we needed right there. Come on, hit that guy. And the shields again. Good job. Oh look at this, we've got a bit of a bit of flipping back and forth going on right here. Oh he's gonna go down. Hit the shield again. Come on guys, finish him. Yes! What a win! What a win. I was really worried there first minute. 47 scrap. Excellent. We're doing alright with everything else as well. We could do some more missiles. Right, what should we upgrade? I kind of want to upgrade doors again because, like I said, they scare me a bit. Um, 64. So we need six, We need 100 to get up to 3 shield, which is pretty far. We could go up to an extra on our FTL drive. Hmm. Sensors are useful too. I'm going to put a bit into a weapons though, because if we do end up requiring more weapons, that will be useful. Alright, let's jump. We've got a store nearby. I'm not going to buy for 29 though. Let's head up this way. See what we can see. Oh no. Mantis every time, isn't it? Every time. Right, let's see what happens. Oh crap, Mantis isn't it? Every time. Come on guys, weaken them up, weaken them up, weaken them up. Dude, get out of there! You can fight him for a bit guys. There we go. Right, leave my thing on auto fire while we do these. Come on, get back in here. I don't really want to take the pilot away because obviously the pilot has a bit of. Yeah, that's it. Drone repair, drone repair. Okay, we're taking shifts of battle here. Get out of there. If we can heal them up. I'm just trying to keep their weapons down right now. Oh crap, they're trying to take out our doors or something. Here we go. Come on guys, finish them. Ah, oh, they're scapade. Let's heal up. They're escaping because they're terrified they're all, their whole ship's going to go down. There we go. Good job, guys. A massive haul of scrap. Oh, I can't believe we're hanging in here. This is 
This is, we're doing kind of good actually. I usually fail by now and like get completely destroyed or something. I'm all healed up as well. Excellent work. Who's got the, uh, yeah, Lauren, you go back to uh, weapons, weapon jeering. Right. Let's jump. Let's get to that store. I'll be able to actually buy something for 75. Maybe not, but um, Mantis crew has hunkered down the abdomen of long dead space whale, presumably for them to operate a black market trade. I wanted some weapons, damn it. Well, this isn't particularly great, is it? We do have a crew teleporter, but I can't imagine when I would actually want to use that. So let's just buy some missiles. And a bit of fuel. And let's fix up the ship. Right, that'll do for now. Oh crap, we need to get out of here. Right, a message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. Likely just a tourist tab, but we don't have time for that. No, of course not. Oh crap, we super need to get out of here. I have a bad feeling this isn't actually going to allow me to jump forward. A small NG research vessel is trying to fend off a Mantis ship. You move in to engage, but after a quick scan of your ship, the Mantis guys retreat. The NG offer you drone schematics. We've got an anti-ship drone. That is good news. That is excellent news. Anti-ship drone. They continually attack the enemy. Gonna have some more power bars right now. Right, because we need power. That's such good news, because anti-ship drones are the business. That is really good. Oh, crap. We're going to be in trouble in a minute if we don't get out of here. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. No, we're going to let the FTL charge. Oh, crap. We really are at death's door right here. This is why I don't like hanging around. Oh, crap. Mantis outcasts sometimes make the mistake of taking the Zoltan. Scout moves into attack while a boarding party beams aboard from a nearby transport. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted, of course. Um. Right, let's continually attack their weapons. I'm going to power up their drone at the same time. Lauren, I'm getting you out of there. Oh crap, really? Come on guys, finish him. I've got no choice here. I've got no choice. This is going to have to be an all-out attack. Come on, guys. Finish. Um, I've got nothing left to attack with, so I've just literally got to ha try and wear these guys down and get back in there. there. We freaked them out. Right, quick. Repair it up. Repair it up. Good job. Let's right, just scare them off. Come on. Get those weapons back up and running. Come on now. What in the crap was that? Oh, they got an ion cannon? Damn it. Come on guys, repair those weapons, we need them back up. Right, burst laser. They're hitting us with constant ion bombs. Come on, hit them. Right. Right, get back into the piloting seat. Yes, down they go. Man, again, another really intense fight right there. Got some good materials off of it though, so... We've got to get out of here, we're really in danger. You come to a quiet part of Zoltan space and encounter an ancient Zoltan man who managed to harness the power of spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad. Choose your doom. This is all part of a day's work. I'm going to say Mantis? No, Slug. Do not be fooled, Federation, by a soft underbelly. You detect a wormhole, and later, seconds later, a slugger ship attacks. That's not what we really want, is it? Low on you weapons crew, yep. Okay. Let's get in the mix. See how useful my anti-ship drone is already? It really is so useful. This is great. OK, 
Come on, guys. Oh yeah, we're hurting him good. I feel like we're actually getting to a positive stage today. This is if something horrible is going to happen. Like I get attacked by a ship that bores me with like 20 people or something. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Take it back. You guys are going down so much. Ready? Next shot. You're going down. Next shot. Take it back. Good job. Well done, girls. Good job. Salvage remains and contact the wise man. When he sees you emerge victorious, the wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart. Instead, the Zoltan implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your region. Wow, we're minted. 128. Oh, there's a store. No time for that, though. we got to get out of here. We can worry about stores when we get to the next sector. You recognise this ship as well-known for slave trader. He hails you and offers you labourers on the cheap. Hmm. Actually, that ship looks really powerful, if you look at it. I don't know, we're pretty, we're doing pretty good, though. I reckon I should attack him. Maybe he'll give me one. Right, this could be an epic mistake. But I'm going to pray that it's not. So, let's... Hold on, sorry. A giant window has just appeared on my screen, because... There we go. Right. Bomb his shields. I forgot that I've got a anti-ship drone as well. That's going to help me out a lot. Right, good job. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh yeah, we are so rocking it up. We've damaged his shield back to one, and my anti-ship drone is really hurting him up. Oh yes. We have so got this one under control right here. I knew this was a good idea. I've actually got into the stage where I can have it. Ah, here we go. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die. I will accept your offer. And we now have Firidim as a crew member. Firidim can go man the uh, FTL drive. Thanks guys, see you around. Right, we've got to get out of here. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next station. You're having a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures. Let's check it out. Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal. A lone survivor locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat with them in tow back to the ship. Hope they can recover enough to be of some use. Ah, we've got... Om, this is excellent. We're doing very well. Om, you can guard the uh, weapons room at the same time so that if we get boarded. Look at this. We've really stepped up our game here. I'm really pleased today. This is going very well. And we've still got 154 scrap as well. This is crazy stuff. Look, we're only halfway through the bloody map. Rock controlled sector it is then. Oh, we've achieved an... Uh, Achieved an achievement. The rock people are powerful and proud race, not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Congratulations, by the way, by making it to the fifth sector, you've unlocked the NG playable ship for future playthroughs. That's good news. I thought I actually had to complete the section to get that, but apparently not, so. Uh, let's go this way. A naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their ships, and they promptly live up to type. Oh, great. That's just what we wanted, eh? Still. Let's hit them hard and see what they can do for us. We've already dealt them a bit of a critical blow right here. Oh yeah, these guys are going down. Hit that shielding again. Oh yes. This is actually going a little bit better than it normally would for me. Can you believe this, guys? 
I know some of you have watched my episodes of Fast and Light before. I have to say though, bear in mind I'm playing on easy. Um, but you know, like I've said a million times before, it's about the enjoyment of the experience, not like how difficult you can do it on and stuff. And we do even only have two choices of regular and easy. And the only difference is that easy actually gives you a little bit more scrap. And that can actually be the main problem is that you sometimes just find yourself outclassed and there's just nothing you can do. Um, we remember from previous episodes of this that sometimes I'm just faced with a ship. There's no way I can actually get around it being around it being better than me. It's just ridiculous. Store. Right, let's pray they've got some weapons because we need some. <clears throat> A hail on Federation frequencies. You Federation, we weren't sure if we'd see a friendly face again. There's a little business here, perhaps you'd like to trade. Uh, well, we can get cloaking for 150, which is pretty awesome. But it's a lot of cash. But we have been doing quite well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, I'm going to buy f a lot of fuel. And some more missiles. Right, that'll do for now. Right, I think we did pretty damn good there. We've still got enough power left to run our uh, drone system at the same time. And we now have this as well. Hotkey C. Okay, good job. Right, let's rock and roll. I'm going to go down through this way. A Mantis ship here is adorned with rock body parts. It would be a gory display if they had internal organs, but the message is clear. Uh, what? Clear enough? Oh, okay. This is a hunter of a specialised kind. Attack! No species deserves a Mantis hunter on their back. Time to make the galaxy a little safer. Yeah, damn right. Okay, uh... Started off as we mean to go on. Um, on yeah, okay. Let's no, let's hit shields and that. As always. Let's see what we can do. Ah I cloaked myself from you, I say to you. My next thing is gonna to be to upgrade the cloak, because if you can get a good cloak going on, it's super powerful. Oh, look at this. It would appear that we are decimating them. Look at this. We've got a full ship, guys. I cannot believe how good we're doing. Seriously, it's so unusual for us to actually be doing well at this game. I'm pretty excited, actually. Imagine if I can get, like, multiple shields as well and an extra weapon as well. Oh, my goodness. This thing kind of happens so rarely for me. So close, he's going to go down. This is good times. I'm really, really pleased today. Like, even if I fail, I don't care because I've done so much better than we normally do. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection. Oh, great. This means we can already upgrade our cloak system. Excellent. Needs more power, but that's okay, because I can just take it out of the health bay. Right, let's rock and roll. We've got a couple of things going on here. Let's answer this distress beacon. Yeah, okay, answer that distress and they'll boost it straight up out of here. Ah, see, now we have cloaking. Distress signal coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable, or we can just use our cloaking. There we go. Your ship used cloaking to prevent the defense system from getting a lock, and once closer, you're able to safely disable the system. They thank you for your help and offer a reward. 42 scrap. Let's get some more power bars. And... Add some evasion to our um, to our piloting. We're becoming a, pa a force to be reckoned with right here. I tell you that. Why can't I put? There we go. We are becoming a force. A few freighters pass by, but they refuse all communications. Must not want to sully their reputation. Cheeky bastards. No point going to the store, we got no uh, got no commodity to trade with. 
a naturally warlike species. Uh, it's the rock people again. Again with the rock people. Right, what are we doing here? Man, these guys are tooled up. It's time to really hit these guys hard. Okay, get ready for this, guys. This looks like it's going to be a bit of a battle. Right, we hit their weapon systems first up, that's good news. Oh bugger. Took a bit of a hit right there. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a battle alright. Right, we'll just keep wearing down their weapon systems. The drone's gonna help me uh, in keeping those things down, so luckily we should be able to keep it locked up. Come on, fire missile again, fire missile again. Keep them locked down. That's it. Good job, guys. They're keeping their weapon systems down. I'm just ready with the cloak. If they fire a missile, I can just avoid it immediately. Look at that. They can't get anything. Oh, crap. <laughs> I like how I said, like, yeah, 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 you know, I'll just uh, avoid their missiles. And then I wasn't paying attention. I was so overconfident. I thought, yeah, they're not going to have a chance to get hit on us. These guys need a little help. Oh, we're just going to get these guys some medical assistance. Okay. Freedham, you go back to the uh, engine rooms. There we go. Mission accomplished. Ah, substantial collection of materials, as always. Let's get out of here. Do, do, do. This music always reminds me of like Final Fantasy. This bit. No one bothers your ship as you float amongst numerous space stations and mining platforms. The rocks certainly run efficient operations. That's got to be true. Right, we're getting out of here before this fleet catches up with us again. No stores nearby. Not enough. Arrived at the long range beacon. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Let's investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly coloured, six legged, horse like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Let's try to communicate peacefully. You try to communicate in every possible way, but they just stand there, silently judging you with large expressionless eyes. You prefer to leave. Oh well. Uncharted Nebula or a Mantis Homeworld? I'm going to go Nebula, even though I hate Nebulas. I just don't like dealing with Mantises boarding me every time I get in combat. You've entered the nebula rich sector. You may put a few light years on the fleet, but that's only if you make it up to the other side. Okay, rock and roll. Well, we're just going to take uh, this route through. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed. Without functioning sensors, sensors, it's impossible to tell what's inside. Use your stealth to access the space station. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused and nothing useful. Fair enough. Now, I know there's a lot of sections here, but um, I don't like hanging around in nebulas, and we're doing pretty good, so I'm just going to burn it on through. There appear to be a number of small station stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleporter was used in one of the stations. We've been boarded. Oh, for the love of Christ, seriously. Right, my plan is to... Right, they often go for the O2 first, no. Okay, here they are. Ah, oh, crap, here they go. Fight them, guys, fight them. If we have to, we can escape to the med bay, you see. Right, a couple of us are getting hurt. Oh, dude, he can't get out of here. Om! Om! Balls. Om couldn't escape. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. This is what we want. They're fighting us in the med bay. Idiots. And as you can see, we continue to heal while they get brutally battered. Fight. Come on. Poor Om. Yeah, kill him. You're going down, son. You're going down with Zeramar. Zeramar the Merciless. You're down. Right, heal up and repair. Well, that was uh, not as painful as it could have been. At least they weren't mantises, otherwise we would have been in real trouble. 
Right, we'll repair up and get on our way. Back to the engine room, and you guys are actually... Lauren, I think. Yep, you're back to the weapon systems, and Lissandra, you're back to the shield systems. Right, on we go on our way. This is why I hate nebulas, you can't see anything. Never getting the fog blind, you practically bump holes with a mantis ship. They hail you. Pah! <laughs> this transgression will be overlooked. Nebula dangerous. Next time, all humans die. I am definitely going to overlook that because look at this. They've got a three shield system and a transporter. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Right, we've got a distress beacon up here. I'm going to actually go for that. Let's see what we can do. You arrive at the beacon immediately. It was a trap from pirates. Oh, those bloody pilots. Anti-ship drone up. Missile about to hit shields and weapon systems. Let's go. Now they're going to get ready to fire in a moment and we'll be ready to avoid their fire. There we go. Right, auto fire their weapon systems. She's going very well. Ah, so this is the thing. I'm hoping that this works very well. Um, it's great to be able to actually get back on and record this now. Because um, it was very frustrating in the past not being able to actually successfully record these things. So now this should definitely help me with what I need to get done. Right, I'm going to hit the shielding there. We need to put a bit of a hit on their ship. There we go. It was worth one missile expenditure to get that hit on them. Did I just auto fire another missile? I totally did not mean to do that. Oh yeah. Fast and light. No, you're not. You're not doing anything like that. No. No surrender. You dare to ambush us and then you ask for help? Are you actually kidding? Yeah, die, you evil pirates. Ah, got a good amount of scrap off those guys. Right, we need to make a break for... Well, actually, we don't really need to make a break for the exit. I'm going to go this way around. Fleet's far behind us right now. Despite the barren area, trade is set a shop. Trade fuel for drone parts. No, we don't want that. Right, we're near to get out. Near to get out. Your crew are constantly looking out of the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creek and moan in the ship. The tension is almost palpable. Hmm, long range beacon is almost hidden, but we managed to charge up our FTL drive and we're ready to rock and roll. Slug or civilian? It's a bit of a tricky, uh, tricky one to answer that, isn't it? Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector. We will do. As you can see, we're breaking out of the nebula right here. You might have guessed by now that I'm more interested in actually completing things today, because if I could complete today, wow. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Oh, balls. This could have been a mistake. Oh, what the Christ is that? I think he's got... Is that possibly a halberd? Not particularly looking like I'm uh, looking forward to this one. Right, we're going to have to do that. This could burn through my missiles, it's got to be said. I'm going to have to try and judge when they fire, right? So I can use my cloak to good effect. Here we go. Right, shield's down to two. This is going to be a tricky fight. If I can come out of this all right, we're going to be in good hands. The key is going to be keeping those shields suppressed. They don't want to fight, they're trying to escape. The hell they are. Come on, hit those sh engines. Four missiles and scrap 40. Come on. Okay, I'm actually going to accept this offer. Good on you. Thank you very much for your for your jump trade, guys. Let's boost it to this store. Maybe we can find ourselves a new weapon, which would be quite nice. There's only one other ship at the beacon. It's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. 
Greetings, traveller. We were crippled by a band of pirates and now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies home. Man, they don't have much, do they? Booster Shield's ship recharge rate by 15%. That's quite good. Crew teleport we don't want. I'm going to take the shield charge and I'm going to fix everything. And I'm going to buy some fuel because we're damn low on fuel. We've got a couple of missiles. Buy more fuel. And then we're good to go. Thank you for your trade, everyone. Hmm, no sign of the enemy yet, so... Uh, Let's play on through here. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels. Wow, we've got weapon breach missiles. This is amazing. These missiles are designed to cause maximum destruction to ship hull armor. Charge power required is 3, charge time 22, missile, damage per shot 4, shield piercing 5. This is very, very good news. So basically, what do we got right here? We need two for the anti-ship, two for this. We're going to need a hell of a lot more power, basically. Down and down, right. Now this is good news because I can still take one out of the med bay, which gives me three for that and two for the anti-ship. So, rock and roll. But it, how many missiles does it require? Fires one missile with four damage. Artemis fires one with two damage, but pierces all shields. High breach chance. This is exciting news. Right, let's move on. Distress beacon up ahead and then we can exit. <coughs> you locate the source of the distress call. Nearby human mining colony. Unknown disease. The hell we, we're not doing that. They're trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease but lack any enforcement. A riot seems likely. Sorry guys, we can't help you. Unfortunately your mission is too important and you're not willing to risk the crew. No, not against a bunch of diseased maniac, rioting maniacs or not. We've come too far. You arrived to find a ship floating around debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? I can't, I'm afraid. Sorry. Man, this was an I mean, let's go to the last beacon right here. We're, going, we're running out of fuel though, which is... Oh man, and we're coming to an asteroid field. The pirate ship is lying in wait until the asteroid moves into attack. Well, unfortunately... Not enough system power? What? Oh crap, because we need to upgrade this. Damn. Damn. I forgot about that. Crap. Damn it, I'm going to have to deal with that later. Damn, I, f I totally forgot that I required that. I was thinking of just how many power bars I actually needed. Oh man. Well, we'll just have to do what we can. These guys are tooled up to hell. This could actually be the undoing of us if we're not careful. Come on, keep those shields down. Luckily, because we're in an asteroid field, it's actually going to help us to keep those shields down a little bit. Um, and because we've got that shield recharge, it's actually going to be in our favour. Right, we've got to keep that engine down. Oh, crap. One, no. We're not accepting that. We're not accepting that any day of the week. Right, we got him, we got him. Fuel 3, drain parts 1, scrap 65. Right, now let's get the crap out of here. We need to repair up because we're on fire. Ah. There's a black market hub. No, we don't want any of that nonsense. Right, what we do want to do though is put out this fire. So. Oh crap, this is bad news. Oh crap. There's a fire in the door system. But. Damn it. Right, guys, you're going to have to do some firefighting. Firefighting, firefighting, come on guys. Hang in there. Firefighting, firefighting. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good job guys, well done. Right, fire avoided. Well, we're still doing alright here. Managing to deal with the threats as they come. These guys can get healed up. Now, luckily we actually got some scrap from that. 
Now I need, I've got one, two, I need another three, so I need another two power bars right in here. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough to do that. Yeah, look, 50. We need 75 for that. Man, that's a, that's a big ask. But I could, for example, drop that and focus on that. Work that setup instead, because that's kind of like a, a good alternative. Sandra, if you go to there. Lauren, you get back in the uh, weapon rooms. Okay. New, new setup, we're ready to go. Let's rock to the next sector. The last stand. <coughs> Will we make it, guys? Will we make this survive? You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past initial security and direct feed to the capital, ship's war room. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Tuzzle of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the fleet to the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do all we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying the flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer your help wherever possible. Right, guys, this is going to be uh, the real problem for us. Destroy the rebel flagship before it gets in range of the Federation base. If it gets too close, there will be no stopping it, and we will be lost. So engage quickly. Jumps until the flagship is in range 5. Now this is going to be super hard for us basically because we really could do with those three weapon systems and I've had I have actually fought this ship before. It's really hard to fight this guy. Right, let's see what we can do with these guys. Right, we're going to try and hit their shields. I could do with some drones if I can get to a store. Actually, I don't think these guys are really going to be too much of a threat. Oh, crap. I'm trying to take down my cloaking system, which is bad news. My missile systems are kind of failing right here. Oh, there we are. They're getting hurt now. They're getting hurt bad. Oh, crap. This could have been the end. Uh, escape guys things are going from bad to worse for us right here come on guys come on you can do it get out of there oh thank Christ for that damn it This is not going well for us right here, as we said. If we're having this much trouble with this ship, how on earth are we going to deal with the main battleship? I have no idea. Seriously, it just seems impossible. Come on, Lauren, heal up. Alright, there we go. How are we going to deal with this? We're using so much firepower on this thing already. It's firing up its FTL drive. Okay, let's see what we can do. No, right, go down. And we got plenty of scrap there, which is going to be good for us in the weapon systems. Alright, now we do actually have enough for our breach tool as well as everything else. Right, now we can really be in the mix. Eh, it was a benefit there, but we just uh, we needed some stores. Yeah, 
A ship engineer set up a small shop. Great. Need some missiles. Crap. I'm not feeling overconfident about actually uh, how this is going to go down. Oh man, we've got another one. I want to try and just jump away from this. We've got to just hold on for a little bit longer with the FTL. So that's my plan, is to basically just get out of here. Oh Christ. Come on. Right, ready to jump. Repair station, let's go. Chatter on the comms suggests a nearby Federation base is outfitted with a repair station. When you forward your mission priority, they quickly help repair your ship and give some supplies. Great stuff. Gonna get a repair on the go as well. Right, we're nearly at our final confrontation. I'm concerned. I have no idea how we're gonna do. We'll soon find out though, whether or not we're going to be a success or not. Come on Lauren, fix faster. Right, look, you go and heal. Right, there we go. Right, we're right at the end. Haven't been in this situation many times. Let's see what happens. There he is. Look at this. How are we meant to deal with this? The rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. He stealths up. I'm super scared. Let's see what we can do. See, they basically have got multiple weapon systems, which means it's almost impossible for you to actually hit multiple targets all at the same time, which is really bad news for us. Christ. Yeah, see, this is the problem for us. Right, what are we going to do right here? We want to hit their shields, hit that laser. I don't know how many missiles I've got ready to play with. Let's hit that as well. Right, we're having real big problems right here. Oh, look at this. How can we deal with this? How can we deal with this? It's destroying us. It's absolutely wiping us out. We have to get back to the med bay. Oh, we lost our engineer. Look at this. Our ship is being wiped out, dude. Seriously. How can I handle this? We're getting totally flawed. Can't really do anything about that. Lauren is hanging in there. Beth, I'm going to bring you back to the med bay. Oh crap, we're barely surviving. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can hang in there, we can hang in there. We don't need the engines. We're out of missiles. Bollocks. 
we need the drain systems back up and running. Lauren, you're gonna have to get to the drain systems. If we can keep a drone up, we might have a vague chance of being able to do something. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm getting so badly hurt right here. No! We're so close, we're so close. I'm gonna keep targeting those shields, that's all I can do. Oh my god. We're so badly on the ground. Come on guys, we can do this. Come on guys. No, we're losing all oh, we're losing all oxygen. Oh, we're so close, we're so close. Our ship just took so much of a beating, I couldn't hang in there, I didn't notice that because I was thinking about the other things. We just don't have enough. We ain't got enough left in us. Final shot. Oh, so close. So close. We're destroyed. One last explosion marks your fate. As your ship is torn apart. Terrible, terrible shame. Terrible, terrible shame. Right, eh? Back to the hangar. Well, we had a good good old try there. We have unlocked the, uh, the NG ship, which is good news. Um, but for today, that's the end of Faster Than Light. I hope you've enjoyed our journey. It's been an hour and 16 minute journey of epicness. So <laughs> thanks for watching today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. It really helps me out on my, uh, my much smaller channel here. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you'll see you next time. Remember, as always, get videos on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays. If you've not been here before, please subscribe and uh, see you very soon for some more Fast and Light and other gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys.